What's up, everybody? It's Afro DJ Mac here, and I've got another free Ableton Live pack for you. This one is inspired by Ableton's push, and it's for all you Launchpad users out there. Basically, I wanted my Launchpad to work kind of like the note mode and push. Um, that was the goal. Um, I wound up in a slightly different place, but I still think it's a kind of cool thing, and I wanted to share it with you, and I think it's kind of fun to play around with. So let me show you what I have going on here. Um, Right now, the way this thing works is that you have, you know, this left side of four by eight is one instrument, and this right side is another one. So right now, I have my Gibson guitar pad synth plugged in here. That's a free download I have. I'll put the link up for you. All made for my old Gibson guitar. And this side is one of the wind chime instruments which is available as a premium download with a bunch of other things made for my wind chimes. So let me show you how this thing works. It allows you to basically play one synth here and another one on the right. So um, the rack itself, we open it up and it starts off with a scale, so you can set the key. Right now it's set on C major, which is really the best way to play this thing because of these uh, indicators that I have set up, but you can switch the key if you want. Just realize that these notes always stay the same, so right now um, the green notes are the, the C and the red are the G, so the fifth. And um, even if you switch keys, they'll still say a C and G, C, G, C, G. But it gives you like a point of reference in case you're in like a different key, you can figure out where those notes are. So you have a little compression here, which is tied in at the very end, right there, um, which you can play around with the threshold. Right now I have it off effectively. Um, so I'm gonna close down the scale. And how this thing works is you have an instrument instrument rack in here, and there are two chains, one for the left side and one for the right side. Each side has its own pitch control, so... So I can play around with the pitch just by turning this. And I'm going to keep it at 12 right now. And same thing with the other side. I can play around with the pitch here. Obviously, that's a little high, but... Okay, so again, we're going to keep this here. Sorry, that was negative 24. It's just the spot I like for this particular sound. Anyway, um, so we go in here, and on this rack, you can adjust the volume of each side. So I can turn up my left side if I want, or turn it nice and low. And same thing with the right side volume. So those are the really the only controls you really need to know on this rack. Um, the way this thing works is after the pitch, you just drop in whatever instrument rack you want. Right now I have my Gibson pad, but you can go into your library and drop in any instrument you like right there. Same thing for the other side. So on the right side, you click on that. Right now it's called the Dirty Chime Organ. And of course, you know, you can play with the macros that are to change the sound here. Fairly dramatically. And you can put really anything you like in there. Um, so that's really the main gist of this thing. Um, over here we have control of the filter on the left side. And if we look, that's nothing more than your standard auto filter. And we have control of the filter on the this side too. Each side gets its own delay. Controlled by the knob here. And same thing with this side. Okay, so let's turn that filter open a little. And that's really how the instrument rack works. So when you open it up, you basically put an instrument in here, whichever you like. 
Right now, like I said, I have my Gibson pad, and on the other side, I have my dirty chime for my wind chimes. But you, you're free to drop whatever you want in that in place of that. Um, and that's how it works. Um, this also comes with these two tracks as well. Now, I'll start with the notes track because that's really easy. Basically, this is taking MIDI from your launch pad and sending it back to the launch pad. It's set to input always. And you're not going to really record anything on here. This is just so that your launch pad will light up when you touch a note. Or in this case, when I play back um, this little piece of music I made, you can see where I hit the notes as I recorded it. Okay? Um, let's see. Now, the other side here is basically just the notes that show up when, you know, the indicator notes, the root and the fifth. So... They hit play, they pop up, and the reason these colors are here is because of this MIDI track just playing everything back. Again, you don't really need that, but I find it useful to see where my C and G are, and then I can figure out where all the other notes are. So that's really how this thing works. It's, it's a lot of fun, you know, um, having two different synths right under there is a cool thing anyway, to split your synths out. And um, to be able to play them just like this is pretty fun. Um, like I said, you can change the key. If you turn this knob all the way to the left, you go into a chromatic mode. But this is still a C, this is still a G. Which is handy, this now. You get every single note there. So um, I hope you find this one useful. I think it's a pretty rad instrument. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with it as I wait for push. Um, but I can still see myself using this for fun anyway, even though once I have one of those things in my hands. This is still a cool way to come up with new things. You start to learn that different shapes make different chords. Here's my major chord, here's my fifth major. Um, a fourth, and so on. You figure these things out as you go. And I hope you enjoy.